defense this morning. What type of self-defense is the best defense if you suddenly find yourself the victim of an assault? If you listen to satellite radio, if you pay attention to your Facebook feed, you will likely notice all kinds of advertisements for gadgets that are meant to help keep you safe if you are attacked. So we asked an expert if the boost of confidence they offer is worth your money. Sometimes Jane works late nights. It's a little unnerving to have to walk from the office to the parking deck. So she stays aware of her surroundings. I'm always scanning, always looking around, keeping my eye out. A very smart move, says self-defense and martial arts expert Chris Sparks. You work with cops all the time, you talk to cops all the time. What do they tell you about how people are becoming victims anymore? 90% of the female assaults they see they're happening from behind and it's because they're like this in their phone they're that zombie phone apocalypse they're just staring in their phone and think about it when you're walking to the car phone in the sand key in the sand and and now think about that what hands do you have to defend yourself zero hands he's seen all types of what he calls self-defense tchotchkes for sale what have you seen out there there is there's so many different items, and I think it's the same thing that it says. It's to boost confidence. I think consumers see something like this, joggers, females that are walking in parking lots, and they think, if this is in my back pocket, in my purse, I'm safe. He happened to have this in his studio. You look at it, it looks like a normal key, but then it has a knife. And then we showed him this. We got it for $29 online. It promises to be a discreet, light, and effective way to protect yourself and possibly even collect DNA from an attacker. It's all based on the idea of cat claws. Yeah. Do you want to do the honors? Absolutely. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Small and light for sure with a heavy list of disclaimers. A tiger lady cannot guarantee your safety or prevent an assault. That's a pretty good disclaimer right <laughs> okay. off the bat. Do not rely on any self-protection device for protection. That's kind of what I was going to say, so I guess <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out of material. Okay. Tiger Lady is not a substitute for caution or common sense. Yes, ma'am. We both gave it a try, and as advertised, it is sharp. I have to really squeeze hard to get those. It's uh, not easy? The no. Claws out. But Chris worries anything you have to carry in your hand during an attack, well, he demonstrated for us. The attack happens so quick that they're never able to get this out. As you might guess, he recommends any money you might spend on a mail order, you invest in a self-defense class instead. As soon as she feels me let go, she just jumps to create distance. Jane says she carries something almost all of us have. I always carry my keys in my hand, if not for having the keys right there, having the car alarm that I could press if something were to happen. All right, so we are live here in the Patterson studio, and actually, Chris came in to talk to us a little bit more about keeping ourselves safe. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Good morning. Good to see you both. Okay, let's talk about the key thing first, because you yes, showed me something when we were at your studio that really surprised me. I mean, everybody's been taught, just keep your key in your hand like this. I think it's the first lesson we teach our kids, you know, hold them in between. The problem with this is if you were to start to strike me here, mm -hmm. see the key starting to move, and yeah. look how it twisted up. And it hurt my finger. You're webbing here, you're going to rip the webbing in between your fingers okay. not a good grip most likely it's gonna hurt yourself and drop okay so I want you to, to grip it like this okay. okay yep nice and tight now feel the difference in that grip yeah. go ahead and start is it moving not moving soft tissue there eye ear imagine what that would do to someone attacking you. it's gonna change their priorities really quick so hold it between your thumb and your pointer yes exactly just a nice tight grip if you're holding like a stick or a, or a knife or, or just a, a, a good grip here and that's gonna be so much more secure okay and so you're gonna show everybody at home something that they can learn uh, so that if they find themselves in a situation where they're being grabbed from behind um, they can at least start to fight off so do you guys want to go ahead and sure. show us absolutely yeah. so one of the most common ways that you hear statistically from the officers I have trained is that a female is snuck up from behind you know so Brittany's here she's she may not be paying attention which we want to talk about um, and they're grabbing her so they're start to be you know being drunk behind notice what she did right away she, she grabbed both of my arms and she just dropped her center of gravity she's becoming heavier and she's just going to strike gross motor skills she's stopping the foot she's elbowing my ribs elbowing here and it, it you know more advanced she can go out the back but she can just kind of turn and face me and just try to push away 
and create distance. So the whole point is to get as much distance as possible between yourself and the attacker. I joke. We teach uh, ten toe kung fu. Okay. Way, right? <laughs> ten toe kung fu. Like we want to break distance and just just you know get away from that attacker. We hesitate sometimes to hit. I think and show us kind of again where you sure. hit him. So when you're being attacked, so that we know where should we strike and how should how hard should we strike. So so shock, disbelief, acceptance, right? Mm -hmm. So the reason people become victims, they don't know what to do. So she just grabs as I'm pulling her, she drops down. She starts stomping the foot, gross motor skills. She's elbowing, and it doesn't really matter where. She can keep elbowing to the face, to the ribs. If she had those keys in her hand, yeah. she could come back and start stabbing that you know, soft tissue. The, the reality is she's fighting back. To, to get that two seconds to break free. Get yeah, show me, the, yeah, show everybody at home one more time sure. to break free because that's the key to get that distance. So someone's grabbing here. She's grabbing both arms because we don't want to get choked. So she's pulling down. She drops down, stomping the top of the foot, and with four pounds of pressure, you're going to break the top of those bones. Really easy. Females wear heels. That's going to really hurt. Mm -hmm. She's elbowing at wherever she can reach. If it's a taller attacker, she can't reach the face. She just continues the elbow strike. She might take her fist, go to the groin. Right? If she has keys in her hand, you want to try to go to the face if you can. And then right from there, she's going to do whatever she can to just turn and, and, and impinge that shoulder and push away. Just create distance and run. Show me one more thing before we go. Which yes, is one thing that you have shown me before that I absolutely love about getting out of somebody's grasp. Sure. So, so when we teach fe new female self-defense, we grab and we start dragging them away. They kind of stop. Yeah. Right? So right here, there's four fingers. There's one thumb on top. It's easier to go against one bad guy. Both hands are together. Go ahead. And over your head. Don't hit your pretty face. Okay. okay. Over, over your head. Go ahead. And that's it. No matter if the thumb's there, go down. No matter how I grab up. I don't care how strong you are. It's one little thumb. So pull You're toward able, the thumb. Always against the thumb. That's it. It's pretty simple. But again, shock, disbelief, acceptance, right? We have to get to acceptance. So because Brittany trains, because now you train, mm, yes. you're, you're quicker to get to acceptance. And acceptance is sort of understanding, okay, this is happening. Yes. What do I need to do to get myself out of this situation? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we did talk to the folks at Tiger Lady. They said, hey, our, our product is there to help you. Yes, there are all of those disclaimers. I'm going to take their statement that they sent us. I'll try to get it up on our website, uh, wbtv.com slash morning break, so that you can see what they said. But it's it's the confidence thing. If you have enough confidence in this, you don't need anything on the outside. That's correct. So you learned important things. You learned how to carry the key. You learned how to get out of a hold. And you learned how to pull away if somebody's grabbing your wrist. Chris, thank you. Pretty thank you. Good to see you guys. Great to see you guys. We appreciate it. Uh, we'll be right back after this. Uh, oh, Chris, what's